Estimated that more than 232,000 women in America will be diagnosed with invasive breast cancer this year. And more than 2,200 men will receive the same diagnosis. Well, new technology is now making it easier to actually see cancer on those x rays. Since the traditional mammogram came into play nearly three decades ago, the ability to detect breast cancer has increased drastically. Now, cancer detection is about to take another leap forward, and here's how. With traditional 2D mammograms, a single X-ray beam travels through the compressed breast tissue, leaving a composite image like this one. And we as radiologists then need to sort through all of the dense breast tissue looking for a cancer, and that can be hard at times because the tissue overlaps and hides cancers in there. But mammograms are going 3D. It's called breast tomosynthesis. With the 3D mammogram, instead of one image, what happens is the camera rotates through and it takes several pictures of the breast. The computer then takes all that information and it creates individual little thin slices through the whole breast. Allowing radiologists to take a look at different levels of the breast, cancer appears as a starburst. It's the same type of procedure. Once the traditional mammogram is taken, it only takes about four seconds longer for the 3D images to be taken. Breast tomosynthesis is not covered by insurance. At Kapi'olani Women's Center, it costs $68. But they are seeing about a 30% increase in cancer detection. We had a patient that came for her mammogram, screening mammogram, the regular 2D pictures looked normal, but then she had opted for that 3D part as well. And when we looked through those slices in her breast, we actually saw a cancer there that was quite obvious. Dr. Brian Gushikin says there is no telling how much longer it would take until the cancer showed up on the traditional mammogram. No mammogram is ever going to be 100% perfect in excluding breast cancer, but um, it takes us a step closer. Michigan says they are also seeing a big decrease using this 3D technology in the women who get callbacks. That's when the traditional mammogram showed something suspicious and brought them back to go through the procedures again only to turn up nothing. Well, the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure is coming up Sunday, October 20th at Kapiolani Park. KITV4 is proud to be a sponsor of this event that raises money for breast cancer research and treatment. So why not put together a team for the race? We have a link to get you all the information you need on KITV.com. Just look under the As Seen On section of our page.